One of the questions we get quite often is what's the difference between a flash hider and a muzzle brake when it comes to using them as suppressor mounts. Strictly unsuppressed, the flash hider will reduce some of the weapon's visual signature and the muzzle brake will reduce a little bit of recoil. So where that comes into play is if you're shooting unsuppressed in low light conditions or with night vision, a flash hider might help out. If you're shooting in competition or something where follow-up shots matter, a muzzle brake might uh, perform a little bit better. The muzzle brake will also be a little bit louder to the shooter, especially so on rifles with very, very short barrels. If we're looking at using them with a suppressor, they're both going to function identically and it really doesn't matter at all with the suppressor mounted. Some folks will say that the muzzle brake will act as a sacrificial blast baffle and preserve the life of the suppressor. Uh, I guess it's especially important if you're looking at very, very short barrels or full auto use. But by the time that's going to make a very small difference, you've probably burnt out a few barrels, run through a bunch of uh, spare parts, and spent thousands and thousands of dollars on ammo. So at that point, it's really negligible. The flash harder mounts basically by screwing it on to the threads on the barrel and putting it to the recommended torque specifications from the manufacturer. The muzzle brake is very similar, but you will have to use something like shims or a peel washer to ensure that the ports are timed at 3 and 9 o'clock with the correct amount of torque applied. So the muzzle brake does take a little bit of extra time and work to get installed properly. Uh, if you don't care either way, Flash hotter is a little bit faster to get on. Muzzle brake takes a little bit longer. It is worth noting that generally, say on AR rifles, the A2 birdcage will come with a crush washer behind it. It is important not to use the crush washer with a suppressor mount. Take that crush washer and throw it in the trash. If you need something to time, either a muzzle brake or a flash hider uh, by manufacturers like Surefire or Gemtech where they actually want the flash hiders timed. Uh, use shims or a peel washer and not this crush washer. So that's the basics of flash hiders versus muzzle brakes when it comes to uh, suppressor mounting. If you have any questions feel free to give us a call, email, or stop on into the shop and we can discuss this further.